Everyone's had the experience of sitting in traffic behind a truck with a big black cloud coming out of the tailpipe. Most heavy trucks use diesel fuel, which is more heavily polluting than regular gasoline, the kind of gasoline you put in your car. At Environmental Defense, we believe that if you want to change America, um, part of what you have to do is change American business, and that's what we do here. We approached FedEx with this idea, really kind of a radical idea, to create the next generation delivery truck. FedEx has a fleet of 30,000 trucks of this size, and so they are a very, very large player in this market. We arranged a first meeting. We sat around the table. We exchanged business cards, and I looked at the business cards and saw environmental defense, and I thought to myself, why are we ever meeting with these people? I mean, there was definitely some, some suspicion. We were an unknown quantity to them. We realized that they were working from the same information that we were working from. And this gave us a chance to do something proactive instead of waiting for regulators to come and tell us what to do, which always turn, doesn't always turn out to be the best thing for your business. Here was the premier, most sophisticated fleet operator in the world saying, not only will we make the environment better, we're going to promote our business and make it better at the same time. The goals that we set for the project were a truck that increased fuel efficiency by 50 percent and reduced pollution by 90 percent as compared to an existing FedEx delivery truck. Beyond that, it also had to meet all of the normal truck requirements. It had to have the same kind of acceleration and braking and safety considerations. It had to carry as much weight and be just as useful for delivering packages. You might talk one company into doing something, but you're not going to have a widespread impact unless it also makes business sense. We really didn't know for sure whether or not anybody was going to be able to build a truck that met our goals. There are hybrid electric passenger vehicles on the market today, but there's nothing to compare in the truck marketplace at all. The kind of driving that a delivery truck does is really an ideal application for hybrid electric technology because it makes the most of regenerative braking, where every time the brakes are pressed, the energy that would otherwise be lost in heat is instead recaptured and put back into the battery. There was one company when this first started, Eaton Corporation, well known in transmissions, didn't have any place really in hybrid drive lines yet, who came to the table. We were hungry. We were very hungry. We were a mean, lean, hungry team, really. We didn't have hundreds of engineers, we didn't have dozens of engineers. So we were trying to keep ourselves motivated, to really squeeze every ounce of creativity, every ounce of energy uh, from within ourselves. In September of 2002, we took delivery of two prototype trucks. Those teams both produced hybrid electric trucks using a diesel engine. We put those two trucks through the same rigorous testing that we'd put the baseline vehicle through. We put them through their paces, tested them for fuel efficiency, for emissions, for performance, braking, acceleration. We looked at the cost structures. We looked at the engineering design. The truck that we ended up with performed best across all parameters, and that was Eaton Corporation. This is the, the trucks hitting the road, and they, so these are the first two trucks going out on the road to be followed by 18 more this year, to be followed by many more the year after that, to be followed by multiple companies adopting this technology. And so this is the end of the getting ready phase and the beginning of the this is real phase. I just want to say I'm a very happy governor today by seeing that and to see that we're finally cleaning up our air and at the same time have economic progress. We're seeing now up to 30 different driveline suppliers in medium and heavy duty trucks and multiple fleets that are starting to commit to pre-production purchases of these hybrid trucks. This project was about changing truck technology in America. That's the future I see. I mean, we have basically shown it can be done, it makes sense to do it, it's happening now, why not? <laughs>